your WeatherAid certified most accurate forecast. Fox 54 Weather. Well, I told you last night or early this morning that there was a small chance that somebody would end up seeing 80 degrees this afternoon, and somebody did exactly that. The Muscle Shoals Regional Airport clocked a high temperature this afternoon of exactly 80 degrees, a far cry from where they should be this time of year. Average high temperature over there in northwest Alabama right around 68. Radar looks nice and quiet this evening, just like it did all afternoon. It'll stay that way as we head into the overnight through the earliest hours of your Saturday morning. Though satellite imagery is going to become a little more busy late tonight, early tomorrow morning as more cloud cover builds into the Tennessee Valley ahead of our next system. Our next system is this area of low pressure and its associated cold front. Directly at ahead of that cold front is a rather robust line of showers and thunderstorms uh, that have been bringing severe weather to different portions of Oklahoma, Texas, now getting into uh, Louisiana and eventually into Mississippi as we head into the overnight. By the time we get to the earliest hours of your Saturday morning, 7, 8 o'clock, now that robust line of showers and thunderstorms just to the west of North Alabama, southern Middle Tennessee. You wake up early tomorrow morning, you're probably going to notice that increase in cloud cover, a mostly cloudy or even an overcast sky. 9, 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, now that line of showers and thunderstorms hanging out over northwest Alabama, Lauderdale, Cobber, down into Franklin County, our friends up in southern Middle Tennessee. I want you to watch as rain overspreads the Tennessee Valley as we head into the early part of the afternoon, 1, 30, 2 o'clock, and that line kind of sort of falls apart. Looks like it's going to do exactly that, especially as it pushes east uh, through the Tennessee Valley. It's going to maintain itself tonight, but then it gets into the Tennessee Valley, enters a much more stable air mass, and that line's going to end up falling apart. That's why we're primarily just going to deal with heavy rain, uh, maybe some gusty winds tomorrow afternoon. We're certainly not talking about any sort of a threat uh, for severe weather. We get to Saturday evening. We're beginning to quiet things down a little bit, maybe clear things out a little bit back across northwest Alabama. Some of us are still dealing with the opportunity for some scattered showers. Isolated white Widely scattered showers stick with us as we head into the overnight early into your Sunday morning. You head out to Sunday services and Sunday breakfast. Many of us are going to be dry, albeit sitting under a mostly cloudy or an overcast sky. We're going to maintain a fair amount of that cloud cover through Sunday afternoon. It's not until Sunday evening that a lot of that cloud cover begins to get out of here. Highest rainfall totals are going to be realized locations west of the I-65 corridor, somewhere between a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. Some folks east of the I-65 corridor may not even get half an inch of rain. Remember, I said that line was kind of going to fall apart as it pushed to the east. That could result in less rain across northeast Alabama. Nobody likes to hear rain on the weekend, but we definitely need the rain. Most are talking about moderate drought conditions in the Tennessee Valley. More cloud cover tonight equals warmer temperatures. You could leave those windows open tonight. Temperatures only dropping into the lower 60s. Got a low right around 61 degrees. 70 on Saturday, much warmer on Sunday. Got a high right around 78 degrees. Sunday also brings an end to daylight saving time. Set your clocks back one hour before you go to bed on Saturday night. Time changes at 2 a.m on a Sunday morning. Sunset on Saturday is going to be at 547. Sunset on Sunday is going to be at 446 in the evening. I hope you've mentally prepared yourself for that. If there is a way of being mentally prepared for that early sunset. There's your 78 on Sunday. 80 degrees Monday and Tuesday. That's kind of exciting, especially if you like the warmer air this time of year. 73 on Wednesday, 70 on Thursday, 71 next Friday. Next Friday is Veterans Day.